let's do a short vocal warm up. Now this is going to be really helpful to get your voice ready if you're about to do some public speaking. Perhaps you have a presentation. And before we jump into it, I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsors, italki. italki is an online language learning provider and they provide lessons in not only English, but so many other languages. In fact, they offer over 100 languages on their site. So let's say you're giving a presentation in English, you could use an italki lesson in order to practice your pronunciation, your delivery, and then also asking them to check for any errors, perhaps. Or you could just simply have a lesson to help you in whatever area of the language you are struggling with. They have lots of teachers to choose from, so you can just scroll through and find a teacher that you would like to work with. And of course, it's incredibly convenient because it's online, so you can arrange lessons when and where it suits you, as long as you have an internet connection. The lessons are also very affordable, and if you sign up for your first italki session using the link in the description box below, then italki will credit your account with an additional $10. So basically, you will buy one and you'll get one for free. Yay! So if you want to take advantage of that offer, click on the link in the description box below. Now, let's warm up. When you start your vocal warm up, make sure you're alone, somewhere private where people cannot see you so that you do the exercises in full. Firstly, we're going to stretch and squeeze the muscles of the face. Stretch the mouth wide, raising the eyebrows and stretching everything. And then squeeze everything and stretch and squeeze. One more time, stretch and squeeze. Good, now completely relaxing those lips, I want you to just blow through your lips like a horse. And again. If you are able to do that, do it one more time. If you're struggling, place the fingers at either side of the lips Place on a little pressure and try again. If you can't do it, don't worry, not everybody can. Next, we're going to warm up the tongue. The tongue is a huge muscle and is very important for speaking. So we're going to do tongue boot camp. This is cleaning the teeth with the tongue, six circles in each direction. Okay, keep the lips closed, here we go. Good. If you've done lots of these types of exercises, then you might find it very, very easy, in which case increase the number of circles that you do with the tongue. Now we're going to stretch the tongue out. Place the tip of the tongue behind the bottom teeth and push the body of the tongue forwards, really stretching out the back of the tongue. And relax. One more time. And relax. Good. Now we're going to make a hum sound. The hum will eventually open up to a ma sound. And what we're doing is warming up the resonance in the chest, the nice low vibrations. So I want you to beat your chest, waking up all the muscles on a hum. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Pat the ribs, mm, open up to a ma, ma. Good. Now, with all good public speaking, you should be engaging the diaphragm in order to project your voice. So let's warm up that diaphragm muscle. Place one hand 
on the diaphragm which is just below the rib cage and you're going to give me lots of short sharp shh sounds you'll feel the diaphragm bounce we're going to do 10 of these and then one long one and when you give me the long one i want you to squeeze your tummy muscles as tight as you can until you have no air left in your body okay here we go follow me shh Right, the face is awake, the body is awake, let's do some articulation to make sure our mouths are fully working. Follow me, we're going to be saying b, d, g again and again and again really fast. Here we go. And now we're going to try p, t, k. And now we're going to try m l w. Ready? Mulawa, 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 mulawa. Let's finish off this warm up with some tongue twisters. Here's some famous ones. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Hmm. Next one, Susie Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. All day long she sits and shines, all day long she shines and sits and sits and shines and shines and sits and sits and shines and shines and sits. Susie Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Finally, three very simple words. Make sure the tongue comes out for the TH. Three free throws. Three free throws. Three free throws. Three free throws. Very well done. Remember, it's important to warm up your voice every time that you're speaking publicly, giving a presentation or a talk. By warming up your voice, you protect your voice, but also you make sure that you're performing at your best. So you can project and your voice is strong and easily understood. Don't forget that fantastic offer from italki. Working with a teacher one-on-one -on -one can really help to boost your language skills, whatever language you're learning italki offer so many. If you did find this video helpful, please do give it a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button after subscribe so you don't miss future lessons. And why not come and join me on social media? I'm part of Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links will be in the description box below. Okay, until next time, very best of luck with your presentation. Take care and goodbye.